टूडे वी विल डू हिस्टो स्पॉटिंग हिस्टो स्पॉटिंग ऑफ एपिथीलियम मसल कार्टलेज बोन वेसल्स ब्लड वेसल एंड नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग एपिथीलियम दिस इज स्लाइड ऑफ इफ यू हैव नॉट कवर्ड लंग्स that is uh, lungs is not in your syllabus then and uh, you have covered epithelium then you have to write simple squamous epithelium this is lung slide why it is lung because it has got honeycomb appearance as well as intra alveolar bronchus this is of simple cuboidal epithelium here yeah? the epithelium is simple cuboidal and it is found in the kidney in the proximal convoluted tubule as well as in the distal convoluted tubule this is of simple cuboidal epithelium in thyroid it just look like pebble pebble on the sea coast and um, because uh, due to as it is filled with the thyroglobulin so it is of simple cuboidal epithelium now this is of uterus simple columnar epithelium in the uterus here is the simple columnar epithelium and these are the glands and duct blood vessels and the glands and duct okay now this is of gall bladder but if um, it is not in your syllabus and only you have covered epithelium so you have to write simple columnar epithelium with breast border microvilli this is simple columnar epithelium having breast border microvilli flimsy mucosal fold is there okay now fallopian tube fallopian tube it look like Uh, just like highly folded mucosa lined with the simple columnar you have to write ciliated simple columnar epithelium in fallopian tube this is highly folded mucosa having ciliated as well as non ciliated columnar epithelium simple columnar now this is ciliated simple columnar epithelium this is a spinal cord central canal of spinal cord lined with the ependymal cell which is ciliated simple columnar this is a stomach why it is a stomach because there is gastric gland and uh, here the pg ratio that is the pit and gland ratio it is towards the cardiac end and this is towards the pyloric end in the cardiac end pit will be pit and gland ratio will be 1 is to 3 whereas in the pyloric end it will be pg ratio will be 3 is to 1 gland will be deeply seated and there will be no villi and no goblet cell this is of non ciliated pseudo stratified epithelium seminal vesicle how it is diagnosed because there is uh, anastomosing mucosal fold this there are many mucosal fold which are branching in an anastomosing pattern and having having hemorrhagic um, fluids in between okay now this is pseudo stratified epithelium with stereocilia very typical and this is epididymis Uh, in uh, the testis is very much similar but testis uh, the cross section will be round here it is and uh, uh, oval as well as round and, and they are highly compressed the, these are the transverse section of the tubule and this is of oesophagus in which there is non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium which is uh, evidenced by the dermo the baby dermo epidermal junction and this is uh, of oesophagus because there is submucosal gland in oesophagus 
this is again a stratified squamous epithelium if tongue is not covered you have to write just stratified squamous epithelium so this is dermal epidermal junction and there is muscle oblique transverse longitudinal pattern which is the which is found in the tongue this is of urinary bladder and you have to write transitional epithelium because uh, it distance a uh, three it uh, transit in between the two to four uh, double layer to up to the six layer okay so this is very much characteristic of urinary bladder and the histological layer is mamma that is mucosa then muscle layer and then adventitia this is of urator again transitional epithelium here the epithelium the, it transits from second two to six layer okay and again the histological layer is mamma that is mucosa muscle layer and adventitia glands this is parotid uh, in which there is see it is purely serous and uh, uniformly stained you know darkly stained but uh, dark or light it is a comparative study so you can't diagnose that it is darkly or lightly stained it is darkly stained due to the presence of jamus and granules and it is uniform uh, each uh, sni is uniformly stained so it is parotid and if there is a variation between there is lightly stained this is and this is darkly stained lightly due to mucinogen and darkly due to the jamus and granules here also this is slightly stained and this is darkly stained so you you don't have to write some mandibular or sublingual you have to write mixed salivary gland now this is another another gland this is pancreas and it is evidenced by the presence of it is exocrine plus endocrine gland and there is islet of lager hands in between there is the light pink uh, light pink structures these are of islet of langer hands okay and uh, there is no striated duct striated duct uh, found in the parotid this is of thymus and it is evidenced by the incomplete septation here the septa this is septa but uh, and all around there is no septa so incomplete septation is very much characteristic of thymus and also looks like leaf and very much similar to parotid but incomplete septation this is very much peculiar pituitary gland uh, here it is darkly stained due to the chromophiles and this is lightly stained this is chromophobe and in the me in the midline this is pass intermedia a median clade and this is of adrenal and how we will diagnose it is gfr that is zona glomerulosa here the glomerular pattern is there zona glomerulosa then zona fasciculata the fascicles are thick uh, line of cells the vertical line of cells are present here zona fasciculata and then it will intermingle with the reticulum pattern gfr zona glomerulosa zona fasciculata and zona reticulosa and this is medulla okay so this is of adrenal or suprarenal gland now this is mammary gland very much similar to lung but there is no intralveolar bronchus and bronchiole this is of mammary gland again honeycomb appearance this is of liver very much peculiar that central vein with the radiating cell this is central vein here is the central vein central vein and all around there is 
radiating cell. This is of liver. Now ovary, very, uh, very much characteristic. There is ovarian follicle all around. This is of testis and very much similar to epididymis but here the cross section is round and, uh, and there is mature cell are uh, smaller in size and they are towards the lumen and towards the periphery there is immature cell which are large in size. Now coming to cartilage, this is of highline cartilage, all three are highline cartilage. This is a basophilic matrix, highly basophilic and uh, this is uh, homogeneous as well because uh, there is same refractive index of ground substance as well as fiber and the cell nest are present. Again this is of trachea, so this is highline cartilage, respiratory tract. In the trachea, uh, there is uh, the histological layers are musca, that is mucosa, some mucosa, then cartilaginous plate, and then adventitia. So, and this cartilaginous plate is of highline in nature. If you have not covered respiratory system and only the connective tissue, then you have to write just highline cartilage. This is also highline cartilage, and it is of trachea. And uh, here you can see the goblet cell, plenty of goblet cell present in the tr trachea but you have to write highline cartilage but if respiratory system is covered you have to write trachea and this is of elastic cartilage that is uh, in the epiglottis and they are they're very peculiar the densely packed chondrocytes are there densely packed and the double layer epithelium one side there is pseudo stratified and one side there is a stratified squamous epithelium. This is cartilaginous plate and musca that uh, towards the lumen this is mucosa and uh, some mucosa then cartilaginous plate then adventitia and from here also there is musca. So both side epithelium but one side there is pseudo stratified and one side there is stratified squamous epithelium. This is of fibrocartilage, very much similar to smooth muscle, but they are they are not converging. They are not uh, like uh, they are not cone shaped. They are spreading all around in uniform fashion. This is fibrocartilage, and there is fibrous. The Collagen fiber is more in the fibrocartilage and there is chain of chondrocytes. Not densely packed, there are chain of chondrocytes are there. And you can see the high line, elastic and the fibrocartilage. Main difference, here is the cell nest is present. In elastic cartilage there is compactly, densely packed. Uh, chondrocytes and the air in the chain. Now coming to muscle. This is of cardiac muscle and uh, very peculiar that is the branching and anastomosing pattern. Only you have to see only this quality that branching and anastomosing pattern diagnose that it is cardiac muscle. Now coming to smooth muscle is this oval nucleus and at the center this is of a smooth muscle and this is a skeletal muscle in which there is the nucleus are arranged in the periphery and irregular setting are there but there is no uh, not much evidenced the irregular setting but the nucleus in the periphery is very much characteristic of a skeletal muscle and here you can compare all the three types, nucleus in the periphery, branching and anastomosing pattern, nucleus at the center and oval. Now coming to lymphoid tissue, this is of ileum and these are the villi 
and this is lymphoid follicle pear patches okay this is okay this is villi now coming to spleen here also lymphoid follicle but there is central arteriole a central arteriole this is a gill lymphoid follicle but there is central arteriole and there is also the red pulp white pulp arrangement so there is a, these are the hemorrhagic sites okay so this is venous sinusoids this is of lymph node in which there is lymphoid follicle full of lymphoid follicle no central arteriole and no villi it is of lymph node this is of appendix here very small villi very small villi are present and there are, then there is crypts of liver cone these are again lymphoid follicles that's why this is also known as policeman of abdomen this is of appendix now uh, what is the difference between the appendix there is here is also a small lumen but and uh, same as that of tonsil but here is intratonsillar crypt are present and the lymphoid follicle are arranged by the side of crypts this is the main difference about the arrangement of the lymphoid follicle now coming to bone this is of a spongy bone here this is a spongy bone which is evidenced by the trabecular pattern and the this is blood filled lacuna and this is of compact bone both type of bone is present you may write spongy in the center and at the periphery compact bone or you uh, you may write spongy bone okay compact here is the compact bone which is evidenced by the presence of haversian system which is very much uh, clearly seen in this picture that there is haversian system compact bone blood vessel this is of artery when there is no blood inside the lumen it is of artery very much characteristic and when there is blood within the lumen this is of vein we all know the layers the tunica intima media the adventitia in both artery and vein it is present but what is very much characteristic inside the vein there will be uh, blood cells whereas in case of artery there will be no blood cells thank you